Hey everyone, this is Amlock24 and before we go any further, I want to remind you to keep your phone vertical and click that full screen icon on the bottom right. Now, let me go ahead and just show you a quick look as to where I'm at with the, with the event. Mm, let's go to gate. So, overall, uh, I finished the whole, uh, I guess, the point thing that they have for the events. However, uh, I still don't have uh, all of the super rare cards in uh, N3, so I'm still trying to farm for uh, two more Mask Beast and uh, Revival Jam and the Dark Gerald, which I think I can get that out of the other card trader, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the next thing, the points where I'm at, I think it's like 4 million or maybe 3 million, like high 3 millions. Mm. Uh, four million and a half so that's where I'm at with that all right but anyway so let's go ahead and get to the to the video today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the uh, the SR tickets or the dual tickets or the reward tickets they've been calling it a ton of things and I was actually uh, trying to figure out how to use it and it turns out that in order for you to be able to use the tickets you actually have to finish the whole uh, or the this the the rank season has to end uh, and uh, so you exchange dual tickets, that's what they name it there, and then reward tickets in this one. So anyways, you have to finish the whole rank season, uh, and the season just ended yesterday, so we did get a ton of, uh, if you if you played a lot, you do uh, you do get all of the uh, the tickets that were out there. And what you would just have to do is just go to the exchange rank dual tickets, and I actually haven't claimed, uh, claimed any of mine, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, be doing that. So for... Let's start with the with this end ticket and see. Uh, I, I don't even know what I want at, at this point. Um, I think I want this guy, Shark Cruiser. If this face-up card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can spare summon up to two level four lower water monsters. So it'll be a level four with the uh, with you mean. But the thing is, your it's your destroyed. It has to be destroyed by your opponent. Um. That's this thing here. 9,000 more life points. You can pay 2,000 life points now. It's never going to happen. During your standby phase, you can pay 500 life points. Add this card from your graveyard to your hand. You must have no cards in your hand to activate it. So this effect. I don't know what I want. Ego Eye. When this card is normal, so I'm successfully no trap cards can be activated. I might be getting Ego Eye. Let's see. In the pen, though, each time a... Uh, a beast type monster on the field is destroyed. This card gains 500 attack. What? I'm gonna go ahead and get the zombie, I think. Uh... Oh, shoot. No, I'm gonna get the water guy. Shark Cruiser. Alright. Okay, I added and then confirm. Yes, and then I'll be able to have a copy. And then for the next one, I think I'm gonna get another one that's gonna be shiny. Right, so that way I can play the hate deck around it if I, I choose to. Alright, confirm. Yes, so I have a non hollow one and a hollow one. For the rares. Ooh, there's a lot of them here. I kind of want to feather the phoenix. Discard one card and target one card in your graveyard. Return that target to the top of your deck. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. I wonder what does it have a sword feature? No. To so where you can put what it like to outline the ones that you don't have. So three, three, three. Um, rare metal dragon. This card cannot be normal summoner set. <laughs> we can't really use this one just yet, so we're gonna wait for next season to get it. What else is on here? Um, covering fire. Doing the damage step one. Opponent monsters attacking monster you control. Target one other face up monster you control. Your attack monster gains attack equal to the target's attack during the damage step one. That could be actually really good in Notorious. Oh, I kind of want to feather the Phoenix though. I'm gonna go ahead and get a feather of the Phoenix as you can farm with it. Discard one card and target one card in your graveyard. Return that target to the top of your deck. 
So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, we just go to go ahead and get fed, uh, fed up with Phoenix. Or... What's this? That's what, if your opponent wants to attack some monster control, you can t make it, uh, the attack a direct attack. Hmm. So I should get the feathers of the phoenix in a glossy form, and then I just get covering fire for the standard one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I confirm. Yes. And since I'm gonna be using a feather of the phoenix for farming, the glass is gonna give me some extra points. Confirm. Uh, and then for the SR, this is gonna be a, I really don't know what I want for SRs. I think I'm missing a uh, The Gravekeeper this guy Gravekeeper recruit. I'm missing one of them so Let me see what else do we have here Our legacy of Yadagrasu, but you need three though Hmm. Did <laughs> I already have Jar of Greeds? I do need another Supremacy Berry and another, what was it? Hmm, another Champion's Vigilance. I don't know what to get. <laughs> well, I'm gonna definitely get the Recruiter because I need one more. And I just ha haven't had any luck getting it, so... Let's go ahead and confirm that. Yes. And then the next one, the Hollow one. Um, what should I get? I don't think I need the ant eater eating ants or the uh, behemoth, the king of all animals. I'm not really running a deck, anything around that. I do want the other champion vigilance. I already have a shiny one, a prismatic one out of it. <laughs> what should I get? I don't have any sage of stone either. You control face of Dark Magician, Ghost Spear, someone Dark Magician from your hand or deck. Hmm. Well, I can farm Tess, I have a ton of keys. I can't farm uh, Kaiba, he's just all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Champion Vigilance, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. So I'll have three, confirm, and yes. Alright, so. Basically, that's uh, the way you have to get the, the your trade in your tickets. You just go to exchange and then go from there. They'll show you what tickets you have at the end of the season. And uh, I was trying to, uh, I don't know if I read it, uh, I didn't read it right or what it is that happened, but I was trying to trade it as soon as I got them, but that's not the case. You have to wait until the end of the season for you to be able to trade them. And once you do, you can just go in there and trade and add it to the little square on top. Click confirm and you should have it. And uh, let's go check out our recent cards. They should be there. So it's extremely, uh, extremely easy to, <laughs> to get it. But uh, like I said, uh, I kind of was a little bit confused too at uh, at the very beginning because I was getting the SR tickets and I couldn't trade them like as soon as I got them. And that's the only reason I'm doing this video is for those of you that haven't played competitive and don't really know uh, how to get them. So. Here, let's see, newest cards first. Alright, there they are. So, three, three for the Phoenix Covering Fire and uh, two Shark Cruisers is uh, what I decided to get. But, so, if you're having problems trying to trade your your SR tickets, it's not, beca it's not because that you, you can't just yet, it's, it's the season hasn't ended. So wait until the end of the season and then you'll be able to choose the cards that you want. Alright, so that's going to be it for today. If you have any uh, any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and uh, leave a like. And if you enjoy my content, do subscribe. And uh, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.